Good evening, Zanesville. I'm Court, and sports are in session. When it comes to high school sports, it often falls to the team to come up with the needed funds for uniforms, equipment, etc., even finding a location for their events. But the Tri-Valley High School swim team is well-funded by the school. It doesn't cover all their needs. There are 25 to 30 kids on the Scotty swim team, which pay fees to the Muskingum YMCA for the use of their facility for meets and practice. Not every kid likes to play basketball, football, volleyball, the traditional sports. Swimming gives them an opportunity to do something different. And this is an Olympic year. Swimming is one of the most popular Olympic sports. And it just gives those great athletes another, another chance at, at, at doing something for themselves. To help cover costs, they'll host a splash and dash event this month at the Dresden Swim Center. The goal is to raise at least $500, which represents a week of practice and swim meet. Each participant can choose up to four race options, a 400 meter swim followed by a run for adults, a 5K run slash walk, a 14 and under swim and race, and a 10 and under swim and race as well. The kids will be swimming a 100 meter swim, the adults swim a 400 meter swim, and then the run course is pretty similar. It's an out and back utilizing Muskingum County Recreational Trail. We'll have different turnaround points for the different distances of the run. The Splash and Dash will take place on August 28th. To register, visit the Muskingum Multi Sports website. Medals will be given to the finishers of the event. And the Junior Pioneers baseball team did not advance in bracket play at this year's AAA BA tournament. The Pioneers failed to score a run in their outing Wednesday, losing to the Philadelphia Bandits by a whopping 22 to nothing in seven innings, falling to 0 and 3 for the tournament. Previously, the juniors lost to a team from Cleveland and from Johnstown Realty by scores of 13 to 1 and 18 to 1. And after some big league baseball, the Twins and Reds meeting for the fourth and final time this season and the second on the banks of the Ohio River. It was quite the game down in Cincy as they hosted the Twins the Reds did for the fourth and final time in this rare NL versus AL Central matchup. Luis Castillo pitching Wednesday afternoon despite trailing 1-0 the Reds through the first three innings. Castillo, he would maintain a star-like composure on the mound throughout the day. Various strikeouts throughout the innings, time by time, frame by frame, including Kang Jorge Polanco, of course, was a menace for the Reds swinging the bat on Tuesday night. Home half of the third, Joey Votto with a pair on will give Cincinnati the lead. Sweet, smooth stroke to the opposite field in left center. Two runs score, and the Reds suddenly lead it 3-1. to one. Next batter will be Tyler Stevenson. He'll compliment Votto by adding another Reds run, make it four run thus far. Twins would not surrender, though, without a fight. Yes, it seems like this is on the verge of a blowout. In the eighth inning, a comeback voyage has departed for Minnesota as the Twins play small ball here and there through the frame, and suddenly they get to within two runs and then eventually a single run. The Reds' defense saved the day, however, in the ninth. Tying run aboard, go-ahead run at the plate, but a 6-4-3 double play would end matters on a pleasant afternoon for baseball down in Cincinnati. 6-5, Reds escape the score with the final win over the Twins. And to Columbus now for the crew playing another game at their newly developed stadium in downtown. D.C. United in town looking to take the crew to the cleaners and looking the crew are to establish consistency and continuity for the remainder of the season. And D.C. gets out to an early 3-0 lead, but that would change. In the 64th minute, Kevin Molino positioned off the bounce on the cross into the zone, and he collects it for the inaugural goal of the evening for the crew. In fact, mainly in the second half is when the crew got some offensive traction. 3-1 the score now in favor of D.C. And Lucas Zellerion pacing down the pitch, gets the rebound at the exact right time, gets the goal to cut the deficit to 3-2 in the 71st minute, but it would be D.C. who would prevail over hometown Columbus by a final score of 4-2 tonight. That's all for sports. The verdict's over. Back to Michalina.